Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this continuation uh, video for um, the February-March 2017 IGCSE ICT Paper 3.1 and um, in the last videos we've been looking at the section on web authoring and then in this video we're going to start looking at data analysis. Okay, so let us go ahead and open our question paper and go straight to the section that we're supposed to start looking at. So you are going to prepare a spreadsheet model to calculate the weekly wages of the employees and you must use the most efficient methods in your spreadsheet. All currency values are in Indian rupees to two decimal places. So employees are paid to work for 50 weeks in each year and get two weeks unpaid holiday. Some employees are paid weekly and some are paid a monthly um, salary. Okay, so step 15, open and examine the files m17wages.csv and m17data.csv in a spreadsheet packet. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these two files in a spreadsheet packet. So I already have the files um, uh, in question um, uh, in my work area. Okay, so let me just verify that um, this is my work area. <laughs> Okay, I, I I thought I was putting my files elsewhere. I don't know where I was putting them. I think they were here. God have mercy, I was putting the files here. <laughs> okay, I plan to use the, um, the files in here um, for something else, but um, it's okay. So let me just get um, these two files and open them uh, with, uh, with um, Excel. Okay, so they are opened. Now, you guys, you can select the files that you want to open, right-click and um, open them at once and they will open. So the first thing that I want to do is to um, double-click and view the information that is there. Okay, so select the entire table and double-click and so you're able to view the information that is there. Okay, so you can go ahead and examine these files that you, that you have there. Okay, so I'm going to to go straight to the question and um, the question says insert two new rows at the top of the wages file okay so let's go ahead and open the wages file is this one and you're going to insert two new rows so you select two rows and right click and go to insert and you insert two new rows okay next you are going to um, Add the text and formatting so that the wages um, uh, spreadsheet looks like this. So this, we're trying to create something that is going to look like this. Okay. Now I need to point out. You need to um, highlight certain things here so that you really see. Now check. Uh, take note that the heading is actually um, um, with larger font, and um, um, row one is actually merged from A1 to G1. There is merging of the cells. We have a gray shading, a light gray shading, and we have um, um, capital letter for um, the heading. Take note that also um, row two has been reduced on the height. Okay, so the height of row two has been reduced. And take note that row three, the background is black, and also um, the font uh, style has been changed. It is actually a um, this, uh, um, let me just zoom in so that you guys can see properly. Um, let me just close this, zoom in a bit, and um, you notice that the um, the. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay, notice that. Notice that the row three uh, actually has um, a serif font, as opposed to a sans serif font. Okay, initially, if you come here, you notice that all the font is actually a sans serif font. But if you come back here, um, you notice that the font for row three is the only one that has been changed to be sans serif. So these are small, small things that you guys you need to pay careful attention as you redesign this, um, as you design your your spreadsheet to look um, like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just that. So row one to um, row one from A one to G one supposed to be merged, and we're supposed to enter the text Goa um, elephant. Now the text is supposed to be as it is, so make sure that you proofread it. Sanctuary. Okay, so make sure that you you proofread it. Don't skip anything. Okay, so go elephant sanctuary, and then it is supposed to be bold. It is supposed to be somewhat large. So take note the size. 
um, if you come back here you notice that goa starts just a little bit close to the border between b and a so we can take ours there as well and just enlarge it enlarge it enlarge it and one more time and that's 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 fine also <clears throat> take note that um sometimes if you are going to select this um sometimes the text is not going to appear um as you want it to appear it to appear um uh, cut a little bit maybe go is something like this maybe some of you have something like this don't worry you just need to drag this a little bit down so that it is fully visible we also supposed to in um to change the background to um, a light gray shading so that should be fine even this one is fine and um, we're supposed to reduce the height of two row two so re let's reduce the height further um, maybe a little bit like that that should be fine and then we need to change this one we need to change uh, make it a serif font so times new roman and make it um, bold and make it um, the text background is supposed to be white and then um, rather the text background is supposed to be white and the background is supposed to be black so the foreground is supposed to be white not the text background <laughs> the foreground is supposed to be white and the background is supposed to be black okay so let's go ahead and see if we have accomplished everything okay so we have <clears throat> this okay so right now it looks very good and we can go ahead and go to the next part so save this as a spreadsheet with the file name now we're saving it as a spreadsheet with the file name m17 um followed by your center number and candy number and then <clears throat> it is going to be this format so guys just doing this you have already 10 marks out of 80 and um, these guys you cannot afford to do this just one step gives you 10 marks out of 80 wow so let's go ahead and do this part um so save this one save us in the current uh, location <clears throat> i'll save it as um m17 underscore and then i'll save it as zm556 underscore 0001 and we're supposed to save it as a an, a spreadsheet so save it as a workbook excel workbook and that should be fine next Evidence 7, take a screenshot showing cells A1 to G5 um, of your spreadsheet, including the row and column headings. Please uh, place this in your evidence document. So guys, very important, include the row and column headings. So go back to um, your spreadsheet and get this. So the reason they want the row and column headings, they want to see if you did check this one. Okay, um, It will show them. And then the column headings they will show if you actually merged from a1 to g1 uh, okay so get a screenshot from this one g5 is this one okay so just get a screenshot from there from a1 to g5 including the rows and column heading and get a screenshot of this <coughs> okay and come back to your evidence document and place it here okay that looks very good okay and um, it's beautiful it's visible someone can see what I've done here okay next step 16 place your name center number and candidate number on the left in the footer place an automated file name which includes the file path on the right in the footer okay so let's go ahead and do just that so go to insert uh, header and footer we're going to go to footer on the left side we are going to put name chikasa evans center number zm 556 candidate number 001 and then on the right side we are going to click on file path and you notice it adds path and file and then if you put um if you uh, close this okay if you close this you see that it shows um, actually the file name and file path now for me the file name is actually very long so what I'm going to do is to undo this and um, I'm going to reduce the file name so that it's kind of visible. Um, the reason is that my folder, okay, my folder, the file name is actually, um, um, I mean, the, 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 you check that the directory is very long, okay, because I put it in 
a folder which has got a very long name. Let me not waste my time there. Let me just leave it as it is. Okay, but you guys are going to probably find that your name is going to be somewhat um, short. Okay, so um, next we're going to um, yeah, let's see. Next we're going to go to step 17 in cell d4 enter a function to look up the pay type from the contents of the file m17 data.csv and we're going to come back here so we, we are looking up uh, we are look up we are looking up the pay type okay um, in cell d4 we enter a function which is going to look up the pay type or retrieve the pay type and um, from the contents of the file m data now you guys um, some of you have been requesting me to do um, a video where I show you um, an easier way of um, writing the formula or using the VLOOKUP function and I've been hesitant to um, show you this method because um, it doesn't help you when it comes to theory because you don't master the formula um, you just know how to click there and click there and um, you may not really get the formula and stuff but um, for the sake of peace <laughs> I decided today to show you this same formula that everyone has been bothering me about. Show us this formula. Show us this formula. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use this one. So you start with um, equal sign. The moment you type equal sign, you can come and click here and you see a list of formulas. If you don't see the formula that you're looking for here, you can click on more function and you go to scroll down and you come to um, the section where you're looking for and um, mine it should be towards the end where the v's are i'm looking for something to do with vlookup okay so vlookup is this one and i select it and it opens this dialog uh, box um, which you're going to use and it has got this different um, arguments that um, vlookup expects um, uh, to take as you uh, work on it okay so vlookup is a function and it will take these arguments um, so the first one is the lookup value now the lookup value it gives you a description of what the lookup value so the lookup value is the value to be found in the column in the first column of the table and can be a value a reference or a text string okay so in our case the the lookup value is actually supposed to be um, um, this one okay because we are comparing the value that is going to be under e4 okay which is this one so we're comparing the job code in the in this table to the job code in there in in this other table if there is a match then we are going to say retrieve the pay type okay so this is what we are doing okay so come back here so that is the lookup value is e4 the table array you click there and go to the table and just select the table okay exclude the column headings okay they are not important so you start right from a2 to b2 make sure that absolute referencing is what is used at the end there and say okay then the column index the column index <clears throat> as you see this one is the value to be found in the first column of the table and the column index actually shows you um, from the other table what column you want to retrieve so in my case I'm retrieving values from the pay type which is second column so I'm going to type 2 here and then the lookup uh, the range lookup is actually a boolean um, uh, value that is expected it can be true or false um, it's a logical value to be found the closest match in the first column so that in ascending order so true or omitted and find an exact match which is supposed to be false okay so I'm going to use false which is to find an exact match and say okay and there you go and that is the formula that has been inserted using the method that you guys have been uh, looking so if you find this method to be clear um, then you can go ahead and use this method okay but I like to type out so that I know what I'm doing okay but it's still fine okay you still get your marks um, in the practical papers but when it comes to the theory papers you need to know what you're doing so that you um, you recall this formula next we are going to work with step number um, so we are done with step number 17 okay we're going to step number 18 
so let me just see how much time I've used in this um, in this in this video and then okay so let me just stop this video here and then I'll pick up from the next video um, on step number 18 and then we can see how far we go with that okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel and like these videos um, and uh, share them with your friends and um, I'll see you in the next video shortly